Hi, my beautiful soul family, friends, star seeds, light workers. How are you all doing? Today we're doing the Earth signs, which is Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. And I wanted to show off Sandy for a bit because a lot of you have been asking me about Sandy because you hear her in the background sleeping or snoring and playing, right? Yeah, she's wagging her tail right now. So I'm, uh, Sandy's a very uh, lovable dog. She always wants to give kisses and hugs and uh, she gives so much love. And so I wanted to share, uh, of course, Sandy with all of you here. She's been with me for what now? Since 2012, I would say, yeah. So it's been a long journey, hasn't it? Yes. Anyway, so this is Sandy and I just wanted to show Sandy to all of you. Now I'm gonna put her back. Okay, here you go, Sandy. So uh, again, so before we start the reading, you know that I always start any readings before with the meeting meditation. And the meeting meditation could be also like if you're feeling stressed, if there's something that you know you need to release, you can do so while I'm bringing it. But at the same time, what I'm going to do for you, all of you, is I'm going to clear your energy and your space and your energy, myself as well. And I'm going to clear your aura around you. And then after that, I'm also going to infuse through your chakras an emerald and pink light. Okay, so it's just to infuse from your crown to your root and, uh, chakra <laughs> and and then after that i'm just gonna you know do some more singing bowl uh, uh, meditation for you to finish it off okay so let's get started so we're clearing your space your energy and mine as well Abundance in any shape, way, or form. 
protection for all us humans and of course for earth as well and all the beautiful animals and mammals let's take a deep breath in I just want to give a virtual hug to all of you out there from my mom Giovannina and myself so we're sending you love light and peace and my mom is helping so many people out there with their healing modalities and prayer that she uses that is different but she uses them and I've been and we're getting a lot of emails and people saying that uh, feedback saying that the, her prayers are working her healings are working People uh, received what was theirs and what they really wanted, truly desired. So uh, my mom thanks all of you here and she'll continue to uh, use her tools for all of you here on YouTube three times a day. She will be praying for you and doing the healing modalities and also for the collective. If there's messages you want to leave my mom, I will relay them to her. If you want to pray for someone else, you can also pray for someone else, another country, another nation, whatever it is that you want to pray for or you want to ask for help. Just leave them in the comments below. And I want to thank all of you here that has been have been with me uh, through this beautiful journey here on YouTube. You've seen my, pro my progress and how far I've come. And it's all because of you, my beautiful subscribers. You are my family. You're my soul tribe family. You're my light workers, star seed family. Thank you for all being here. Those of you that have been with me from the beginning. Those of you that have been with me halfway through. I came in or recently a big thank you and a big hug also to my community of 27 years I love you all thank you for showing up and thank you for always showing up in divine timing and to the new subscribers welcome to my channel and now uh, let's get started with your readings I'll be right back hi Capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading this is from July 19th to the 25th of 2021. I hope that you're all doing well. I look forward in uh, doing your readings and I look forward to all your beautiful messages, my beautiful Cappies that you are here. Uh, and uh, now before we get started with the reading, I do have some channel messages that have to come through. So I'd rather tell them to you right now than in the reading and sometimes I may forget. So what Spirit is saying here is that there's someone here or more than one person that is feeling that they're from like they're coming out of the dark night of the soul so some of you are in the dark are still in the dark night of the soul and you're going through a process okay of going into the light you are the light already but the dark night of the soul is in process and so you are at right at the at the cusp of it meaning that you're like right in the middle of releasing this dark night of the soul and coming into the light in who you are and ascending to the 5d so you feel sometimes like you're in between worlds maybe you are in between of something uh also could also be that as a metaphor but i also feel at the same time that in the current energy you are feeling blessed for everything that you have in your life or everyone that you have in your life and i feel that spirit has shown up for you uh or the universe or the source okay to give you uh whatever, whatever it is that has been given to you you've been seeing it and feeling blessed and i'm also picking up that in this week maybe for some of you in this week or in the month of july there's been a lot of conflict and chaos around you okay and that's because of the squares that were going on with mars and uranus and then mars with venus and then in july between the 11th and the 15th there's a conjunction with mars and venus so things are simmering down but there's still a lot of conflict that a lot of you are going through whatever this process is but just remember that you are blessed okay capricorn and that's one of the messages that spirit wanted me to relate to all of you so now let's um take out your affirmation card affirmations are so important okay uh, if you're feeling sluggish or you don't feel good in a day you could say well i am healthy and i am I am healthy and I, I love that and my state of being is perfect or something like that. You could make up your own ones if you want. There's so many on Google if you want to go search for them. Okay, and it's important to write them down, but it's also important to say out loud. Okay, and you need to repeat them three times. But um, I will give you a tip for the sake of geometry. Repeat three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times in the evening for affirmations okay so just a tip 
So let's see what your affirmation is. There we go. And your affirmation is about trust. And it says here, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me directly. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And so it is. Now we're going to look at your animal totem to see what is the message that they want to relate to you and which archangels are with you this week. You have the dolphin and this is archangel joel joel's joel's archangel joel's j-o-u-l-e-s and it's about live joyfully in the present moment live joyfully in the present moment dolphin energy and now we're going to take out a card in what you need to surrender to Surrender to effortlessness. It says here, stop pushing so hard. The act of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. And there we go. So now we're going to get started with your reading. This reading is for Capricorn Sun. Anywhere that you have Capricorn in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If it resonates, claim it. If it doesn't, look at your rising moon, Venus, and your north node. In the reading, I'm going to give you your recent, I'm going to show you your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future, what is hidden from you, and the possible future. And then I will clarify the cards in which Thur wants me to clarify for you. And at the signs that show up in your reading, uh, we will have a bonus round right afterwards. Okay, so we'll be a, there will be a bonus round of which of the signs come up in your reading. So let's get started. The Capricorn, that's fast. You got the same card as uh, Virgo. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Virgo. If that's the case, look at the Virgo reading because you got the last card, the same one as Virgo. So that's interesting to see. Now, in the overall energy, you got the Page of Cups. So there is a new emotional experience. This could be a start of a new relationship, a friendship. It could be with a child, whatever this is. There's a new emotional experience that's taking place here for you. In the recent past, you got uh, the High Priestess followed by... The Two of Cups energy followed by the Six of Pentacles. In the recent past till now, okay, this was about trusting your intuition because you are a high priest or a high priestess here. You have a lot of wisdom, okay? It's about being still and meditating and going through your heart chakra to find out what it is that where the compass lies in, in the intuition part, okay? It's not with your mind, it's with your heart. And there is a connection here of two people coming together. And they're also showing me with the Six of Pentacles here is that whatever you give, you're receiving. So there is something balanced. And in the current energy, you got the Six of Wands energy followed by the Ace of Pentacles. 
and followed by the five of wands. Definitely someone here feels lack. They feel that they're lacking of something. They feel abandoned, ghosted, or left out. They're not sure what's going on, okay, in an energy. And uh, I do see that there's some there's some type of recognition, or reward here, or success that's going to take place. There's success in a situation here, whether this is work, love, whatever the situation is. And I do see... Uh, that there is some type of gift coming towards you, something to help you along the way from the divine. It could be also money, it could be just a gift, but there's something here definitely. In the immediate future, you got the Four of Swords, so there is some type of timeout that's going to be taken. Time to heal, time, yeah, there's a timeout. Uh, what's hidden from you is Virgo Energy, the Hermit. Maybe some of you are taking time out to heal, okay? Uh, you're going within, you're taking time out from family and friends, and you're going to follow your own path. Maybe this is you with the Queen of Cups. Maybe you're not able to give at this time, uh, Capricorn. Okay, you're not you're not emotionally available at this time. You need to heal your wounds because I do see someone healing, or you're dealing with a Virgo energy, whatever the situation is. And in the possible future, you got the Four of Cups energy. There is an offer here coming in, and I do feel that with this offer, you are looking at it now in a different way. Where maybe before, maybe there was, op that you were not wanting to look at it. Now I feel that you are. So now we're going to clarify the cards here for you. Okay, let's clarify the cards, Cappy. Now let's look at this Page of Cups energy. Right now I have only Virgo here, but we'll see what other signs come up. Why is the Page of Cups here? Or Cappy, my beautiful Capricorns. Okay, oh boy. Let's see what's going on here. You got your card you came in, okay? But reversed with judgment reversed the lovers upright the king of pentacles the nine of wands reversed and the fool reversed so there is a new emotional experience here that's taking place but you're not taking that leap of faith okay you're not walking through the door or the portal or the shift that has to be taking place here uh some of you feel like uh, it's been very difficult in the situation here um but it's being released from you something is unblocking or undoing Unravel, un, unraveling is what I'm being shown and there was some type of judgment that took place here in the recent past or someone judged you Capricorn or you judged somebody whatever it is this had taken place and uh, I feel Capricorn maybe you're not feeling that you're in your element at this time but I feel that there's a breakthrough with you in this there's some type of freedom that you're going you're going there's some type of freedom here in this situation and um, you know with the King of Pentacles, this could be you, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus energy. This is about being stable, being reliable, security, practical energy, uh, and you know, energy, and it's also about success, okay? And uh, with the lover's energy, this could be a lover, a friend that's coming in, it could be a soulmate or a twin soulmate, whatever this is for you, there's a choice that has to be made. So there is a choice that will have to be made or has already been made. That, or I feel that some of you have to make a choice here. There's a choice that you have to make. Um, yeah, most definitely is what I'm picking up. Now, let's look at the High Priestess here in the recent past. So you have completion here. You came full circle, okay? You came full circle, learning the lessons, an ending, a new beginning taking place here for you, and uh, pausing before taking the next step. Why is the High Priestess here with the world? Seven of Swords reversed, followed by the Two of Pentacles. Okay. With the Seven of Swords reversed, I have the Knight of Cups reversed and the Six of Swords reversed. No one is trying to get away with anything here in the situation. Whatever has been revealed has been revealed already from the judgment that took place. 
and someone here is having difficulty going through a process or difficulty in a situation where they can't move or get out of, okay? Uh, and at the same time, it could also be about emotions and what's in your mind. So there's a lot going through your emotions and what's going on in your mind here. Someone here cannot give love or cannot show up for love at this time because they're being pulled in two different directions, okay? Or they're multitasking. There is a need to be grounded in this situation. And with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, I see stability here between two people or a partnership. It could be love, business, whatever it is. I see the stability here. But again, being pulled in two different directions is here as well. So you did get the number 22. All right. Now let's look at the two of cups because there is a connection here. Telepathical connection that's taking place. Uh, you got the Aries energy the emperor the two of swords reversed there is commitment here in this whatever this is there is commitment towards stability uh it's about setting up new rules setting strong boundaries okay maybe at one point someone felt indecisive but that there was a decision that was rendered or will be rendered card please someone's still releasing here letting go releasing the resentment the hurt the guilt okay trying to find the silver lining to this connection of the past whatever it is here okay there was some type of decision that was rendered but i do see two people coming in together with it's like a renewal for some of you like uh so for some of you it will be a renewal uh but it's setting up all new rules around the situation okay whatever that took place in the past that had to uh, you know that had to take place karmically now let's look at the six of pentacles in six of pentacles you do have number 66 here you have two 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 you got the knight of wands reversed followed by the knight of swords upright followed by the five of wands and the empress with the king of swords interesting there's a lot of things happening here for you, of course, there's new opportunities that are going to be taking place towards Libra energy I have here. There's new opportunities when it comes to business for you, especially if some of you here are have your own tarot card reading uh, website or if you have like your own channel or whatever you're doing. There's uh, it could be anything. OK, there's new opportunities coming in here for you. Most definitely. OK, and it's about exchange, whatever you give in what type of work that you're doing, you're going to receive whether it's love, that whatever you give someone, you're going to receive. Something is coming into balance here. Um, and But I don't see any action at this time, that someone's taking action towards it. Because maybe there was, there's was there been a lot of fighting or drama or ego in this situation. Okay, very fiery energy. But what I am sh being shown, okay, is with the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords, there is some unexpected message that's going to come in to give you clarity. And it, there's going to be a solution ar uh, around this uh, this five of wands energy. Very nice to see that. Okay. Now let's look at the six of wands in the current energy. Why is the six of wands here? You got the hangman. The page of pentacles. So you got the page of cups and the page of pentacles so you got two pages here of a start of something with emotion a beginning of something and with the page of pentacles someone coming in to bring some type of offer or stability it's the beginning stages of it, it could also be an apology that's coming through and again with the page of cups it's emotions okay they're coming in with emotions and also with pentacles they're coming in with um <clears throat> emotions and some type of stability it's a brand new start Okay, that's taking place, uh, feeling of awe. If these are about children or your grandchildren, for people out there, they are doing very well in energy. Okay, but if this is not about it, okay, it's about some, some, someone near, something has been stagnant, okay? And it's about surrendering. It's about surrendering. Because if you do surrender, this is what you're going to receive. The Six of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles energy so now let's look at this ace of pentacles right in the middle of your reading so there is a gift here you got temperance sagittarius energy reversed the ten of wands reversed and the six of cups 
So again, it's about letting go. Okay, there's about there's still like someone here letting go of resentment, hurt, guilt, whatever it is, could be lost in a situation. Um, something that had been very, very difficult. Okay, uh, like as if you were carrying the weight on your shoulders, especially for some of you that were struggling with money. I do see some type of money coming in for you. Okay, but patience is required if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. If it's not, it's about patience is required here. Moderation is required here. Communication is required here, okay? Because a lot of you are still releasing things of the past. You're having a lot of memories of the past, okay? Someone here that's making rest, two quick decisions without thinking about it, all right? Uh, let's look at the Five of Pentacles in the current energy. Someone feeling left out here. So you do have number 55. And you do have three sixes, three twos on the ground. You got the Four of Wands. The Seven of Cups reversed with the Ten of Pentacles. That's beautiful. From a Five of Pentacles, you went to the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So for those of you that were maybe lost money, there's a game that's coming in. There's something unexpected coming in. Uh, it could be two people coming in to bring this. This is the fruit of life, okay? Feeling grateful for what you have because there is a solution coming in here very quickly to help you along the way because there is new opportunities. I do see the Queen of King of Pentacles of being someone. I see stableness and I have the Empress and the Emperor here. This is very, very good energy. And uh, you're not going to feel confused in the situation any longer. There's not going to be confusion. You're still going to be releasing. But with the Four of Wands energy, there could be a proposal here, okay, or an event that's going to take place in the home. And I feel that it's going to be like there's happy events and it's going to be peaceful. And there's not going to be any energies of the outside coming in, right? So you got, you got the Ten of Pentacles. Now, in the immediate future, you got the Four of Swords. So let's look at the Four of Swords here. We got the Eight of Cups. So there could be a break, a breakup, or it could have been time out where someone here is taking time to heal. Someone walked away with the Eight of Cups. The Nine of Cups. They're going after their dreams. Someone here is going after their wish fulfillment. The Three of Cups, the Chariot, the Queen of Cups upright, and the Star. Beautiful. Okay, let's see here. Someone's walking away from something of the past here that caused interference with people, places, or situations. Okay, I do see that in the immediate future. That's taking place. There's healing that's taking place. Someone's taking time out because... They need to heal still, okay? But what they're showing me here is that there's a wish fulfillment. Someone's going after their dreams or going towards what they truly want with the Nine of Cups energy. It's nice to see that. And what you have is the Chariot, the Queen of Cups, and the Star card. This is about someone being uh, emotionally available, very caring, very caring, very nurturing. It could be a Cancerian energy that's here for you, Capricorn. Uh, this is about moving forward. You're going to be moving forward from all this type of energy that you were going through. Uh, for some of you that were going through the dark night of the soul energy, okay? Uh, you're going to be moving forward with ambition. You're going to take control and move forward. Maybe Capricorn, you're going towards a cancer for some of you. Uh, this is about a beautiful blessing that's taking place. It's about whatever you wished for. So there is magicalness that's taking place within this, okay, situation. Now, let's look at what's hidden from you. You got the, you got the hermit, which is Virgo. We got the Page of Swords, the Seven of Cups, got number 77 here, number 44, 666, 222, and the Queen of Swords. So, so someone here is thinking logically about a situation. Uh, they're trying to come up with new ways of communicating. Okay, maybe someone's going to be taking time out. Why? Because there's too much confusion. Too much confusion, too much uh, options here in a situation. So they're taking time out, or maybe too many people telling, talking to them. There's going to be a new way of a uh, new way of communicating. So you got the page of swords, the page of cups, the page of pentacles coming in. Stability, emotions, and communication. It's at the beginning stages, but it's also a way, a new way of communicating that's going to be coming in here for you. Okay, new way of thinking or communicating. 
And with the Queen of Swords, maybe you're dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or this is you with the Queen of Swords that you're very discerned about the situation or you're dealing with someone that's very discerned at this time. Um, and they're thinking logically. Let's look at this Queen of Cups reversed here. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed? You got the Page of Wands. The Four of Swords. The Hierophant reversed. And the Fool reversed. The Nine of Swords. Okay. So definitely here is that this could be two parties or one person itself, but whatever you're someone, I think there's two people here that are in time of healing or taking time out. Okay. Time of healing and taking time out. This is about learned lessons. Lessons that are not being learned. Could be that for some of you, this is a marriage also. Okay. It's just like a cycle that you're going through. There's a lot of worry here. Not sleeping at night, overthinking, overanalyzing. At this time, in the immediate future, you're not going to be manifesting anything because you're going to be taking time to heal. You're not going to take that leap of faith of a new beginning. But what's being shown to me in Page of Wands, because you have the four pages on the ground, Page of Wands, Pentacles, Swords, and Cups. Okay, there's new beginnings taking place in any shape, way, or form. Something is coming in divine timing. You've been seeing the signs and there's positive news around this. So I do see positive news that is coming in for you, okay? And let's look at the Four of Cups because I do feel that there's an offer here. And I feel this time you're going to look at this offer differently. You're not going to just shy away from it. Okay, so let's look at this Four of Cups. You've got the King of Wands, the Eight of Swords reversed, the Three of Pentacles, And the Knight of Pentacles. Whatever offer it is that's coming in, you're not going to feel stuck anymore in your mind about it. I feel that there's determination here with the King of Wands, Sagittarius or Aries. It doesn't have to be the sign. Someone's determined and they're going after what they want. I do feel that there is a strong foundation here with the Three of Pentacles in the situation. Okay, and cooperation. Very nice energy. And I do see someone coming in very slowly. They're taking their time. They could be from a distance. They could be looking at you as well. But they're coming in, whether this is a job offer, an opportunity, or someone coming in. They're very kind energy, and they bring stability in. But they're taking their time. Underneath the deck, I have the Knight of Cups, okay, uh, reversed with the Eight of Pentacles. Someone here released energy from a situation, okay, with the Eight of, uh, with the eight of Pentacles reversed. Someone here is not working on something at this time, okay, um, or they remove the energy from it. They're not able to come in. But what I do see here is someone is going to be coming out of the dark night of the soul. Okay. Uh, and when they come out of it, they might feel a bit unstable, right? Because it's true. When you come out of the dark night of the soul, you, you're you still like trying to figure out things. So I, I do see someone coming out of, out of the dark night of the soul here. And uh, what I'm being shown, okay, is that, uh, look at these, look. You got... Justice, the Ace of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter coming in here to help you. Second chance is taking place. This is destined and faded. It's luck energy. The Ace of Cups talks about abundance in any shape or form. You will feel overwhelmed, but it will be peaceful within. And something is coming into balance. Libra energy. The truth and nothing but the truth in the situation. So now, let's look at... Which signs came out in your reading? 
Capricorn. I'm not doing all signs. I'm doing just the signs that came out in your reading. Okay, just put that out there because people keep asking me, but you missed this sign. No, no, I didn't miss anything. It's whatever that comes out into your reading, I take. Okay, so um, you got Libra. You got Virgo twice in your reading, by the way. Okay. You got Taurus, Aries. Gemini, Capricorn, you came into your own reading, Aquarius, Cancer, Sagittarius, got nine of the signs that came in and now we're going to look at the crystals before we go into the bonus round what crystals that you will need for this week for capricorn for my beautiful cappies i love capricorn energy <laughs> you're my complimentary sign you know <clears throat> And plus, I have a lot of uh, good, good people around me that are Capricorns. And even if I don't see them every day, whenever we see each other, there's so much love and respect for each other, even if it's from a distance. And even if they're close enough, there's a lot of love and appreciation for my Cappies. I love you guys. Keep rocking. So let's see what are your crystals. All right, we're gonna take my glasses here. Okay, you got the angel of meditation and the angel of transformation. So you got a pophiliite, it's the angel of uh, meditation. It says, do you wish to gain a better understanding of a situation is, is so it's time to meditate and sit in silence. Open your consciousness, listen to your uh, for your soul's truth and embrace it without judgment. Mental clarity and self-acceptance are gifts of a regular meditation practice. And the next one you got is the Smoky Quartz, which is the Angel of Transformation. It says, are your emotions blocked? Are emotions preventing you from moving forward? Embrace your feelings, both positive and negative, and release anger and resentment. Watch your emotions be transformed into one that frees you to live and love fully. So these are the two crystals that you will be needing for this week for and as long as you need them. If you're already looking for crystals underneath my video, I do support two small businesses, family businesses. So if you want to, there's a coupon for one of them and the other one, I think it's 10 to there's 10 or 20 percent off. I'm not sure which one is which one, uh, but they, they're all beautiful crystals and um, I support them. So if you want to support them, you can go right ahead and... What else do I have to do? Oh, yes, the sacred geometry. All right. That's weird. You got the same card, I think, as Virgo. Definitely someone Virgo and Cap Twin Souls here. Okay. So you got number 40, we're going to read that to you and uh, I'm going to tell you which crystal you can use for this one, number 40, and this is about harmony. All right, your affirmation for this is, I am in harmony with all aspects of my life. I am in harmony with all aspects of my life. I am in harmony with all aspects of my life. The practical application of this is to bring yourself back to an harmonic, uh, harmonic state. Sit outside in stillness and allow the beauty of your surroundings, the chirping of birds, the patter of, a, of rain, or the rays of the sun to soak into your physical essence right down to your cellular memory. You can play tunes of 432 frequency hertz on YouTube to help you. 
and uh, it's about uh, relating to the Taurus body that sits around you and everything in nature flowing in a balanced dynamic state and breathe and uh, so the crystal suggestion for this is selenite okay so you need to use selenite okay Cappy and now um, one more card from your star seed family to see what they want to tell you what do your star seed family want to tell you what is the message that they want to give you capricorn star baiting star baiting is what's taking place for you at this time and they're saying here light body crystal grid transmission and activation that's taking place beautiful thank you and now we're going to look at your bonus, okay? Now, let's make this clear. The bonus round could be all about you if this is your chart. It could be about a friend, a lover, a co-worker, an acquaintance, a mother, a father, daughter, son, whatever it is. Just take what resonates with you and let the rest go. If it's confusing and you say, well, no, that's not what's happening, that means it's not meant for you, okay? So just wanted to relate that up to a message out to everybody just take what resonates with you and let the rest go okay so cappy if you're dealing with a libra this could be about love business or anything okay i'm not only pretending to love but if you're dealing with a libra here okay hmm i see a beautiful new experience emotional experience taking care place with a libra I see stability. I see the fruit of life. I feel I feel that if you're dealing with a Libra, there's a lot of like gratitude here. Oh, it's beautiful energy. If you're dealing with a Libra. If you're dealing, Cappy, with a Virgo, there's going to be changes, unexpected changes coming in from Pluto. That's 100% here. Okay, yeah. So if you're dealing with a Virgo or you are a Virgo rising or Virgo moon and this is you, Capricorn, you're coming out of the dark night of the soul. But there is some, definitely someone here coming out of the dark night of the soul uh, from being a hermit here. And uh, I feel that uh, you're whoever, if you are dealing with a Virgo here, uh, if you did make plans with them, you are moving forward with the plans. I see new opportunities taking place and uh, that are taking place with the... You're going to be walking away from anything that does not serve you any longer and moving towards what you truly desire. And I do see it here. Okay. If you're dealing with a Taurus Capricorn. I see gain coming in. Some type of gain. Okay. Um, yeah. If you lost money or you lost business, I see some type of gain coming in for you. In, if it has to do with business, uh, if you're Capricorn, if you ask, if you're dealing with a Taurus that it has to do with business, okay, or it has to do with the, any, there's, there's some type of new beginning taking place with a Taurus, and there's some type of gain and new opportunity this person will present to you. But you also need to be careful if you, uh, for, for any cuspers out there. So if you're dealing with a cusper, and I do have to say that there's something that's off balance now. Um, there's some type of, uh, they don't have the strength or the courage or the self-confidence in this, themselves. Um, there could be uh, this lies or deceit or someone trying to get away with something. So just, uh, I'm putting it up there for anybody. Uh, yeah, cusper energy. And this could happen in the time of, uh, of August. So keep your eyes open, okay? If you're dealing with an Aries... Capricorn, if you're dealing with an Aries, I see that there is some, there is, there is definitely a commitment here. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful uh, spiritual commitment. There's emotions, but at the same time, I also feel that uh, someone here is being pulled in two different directions. But uh, no need to worry. Whatever it is, uh, the sun is shining on this, and it's very positive. If you're dealing with a Gemini. Happy if you're dealing with a Gemini. You're, uh, I feel like uh, you're going to be manifesting your dreams or someone's manifesting this person, whatever this is. Um, it's like, yeah, uh, someone's manifesting here. 
Yeah, this is something magical taking place with a Gemini. Uh, there's definitely someone, you know, someone here is is uh, trying to think of new ways of communicating. They're having a hard time with it, okay? There's a choice to be made here, 100%, but I do see something magical taking place with this Gemini energy, and I see manifestations of dreams coming true. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Capricorn, Someone is putting a lot of energy in this Aquarian and uh, in this Aquarius. I see that there, there's a lot of energy here. Okay, let's see. I, I do see that there's someone that's very nurturing, very loving. It's very also it feels very magical with this person. There could be a lot of options. Uh, or uh, or a lot of dreams around this situation, but they're coming in with some type of stability. They're coming in with commitment. Uh, and they're not going to be holding back any longer. But uh, but they're they're tired. They're tired here. Okay, they're tired. It's been very difficult for them in a situation, but it's positive news. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Capricorn. I find that there's going to be solutions. It's gonna be communication and finding solutions and moving forward with uh, with a good attitude and positiveness. There's abundance with this cancer, but some of you are not wanting to see that. Someone here want it, it might be rejecting it, but this is true abundance coming in with a cancer. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius. see victory being recognized I see reward I see an unexpected mes message that will be coming in and I do see some type of closure or reconciliation so there could be a reconciliation with a Sagittarius and it's uh, victorious now if you're dealing with another Capricorn Capricorn or it's you Some of you are twin souls here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you're moving forward with this person, Capricorn. Like Capricorn, if you're dealing with another Capricorn, this is something very truly magical that's taking place. Okay, uh, you're moving forward, moving towards them, even doing your mission together, or your whatever it is that your purpose is. There's an ending, a new beginning. Karmically, there have to be an ending of something and a new beginning taking place. Yeah, I do see this happening uh, for you. There's a breakthrough here, okay? Or if you're dealing with another Capricorn. Yeah, you know exactly what they, they know exactly what they want or you know exactly what you want. This is a new beginning of emotions taking place. This is definitely a soulmate or a twin soulmate reunion that's taking place, okay? Now, that's it. Now we're going to look at what the uh, universe wants to relate to you. For Cappy. right now right now is your message stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow you'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled each moment so stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow you'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled each moment so and stay in the present moment so cappies i hope that you enjoyed your reading don't forget to comment, like, and share. Know that I have your back and that I love you. Everything shall pass and everything will be okay. Uh, remember, love always wins and love has won. Please take care. Okay, Cappies, I love you all. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.